Where did that come from? How many times have we reflected on someone speaking to us and ask ourselves that question? It seemed like they made a comment that just came out of left field, or perhaps someone else is saying that about something that we said to them that sort of like came out of nowhere. The Gemara Maseches Tainus states as follows, in the name of Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Eliezer says that we take the four minim, the four species on Sukkot, Lulav, Esrog, Hadassim, and Aravos. We take it in order to request water, to request Mayim. How? What's the connection between the four minim and water? He says, well, look, the four minim wouldn't exist without water. So, too, the world wouldn't exist without water. So, Rabbi Yoshua looks at Rabbi Eliezer and says, wait a second. You're talking about asking for water on Sukkot? But how could that be? The whole point of Sukkot is to sit in the Sukkah. And if it's raining outside, we can't sit in the Sukkah. In fact, the Gemara tells us that if it rains on Sukkot, it's a simon kalala, it's a sign, bad sign, a bad omen, it's a curse, because it almost says to us that Hashem doesn't want us sitting in the Sukkah. So how does it make sense to say that we take the Lulav and Esrog, Hadassim and Aravos, on Sukkot, because of its connection to water, since we're requesting water, because the Gemara tells us that, the Mishnah tells us, that on Sukkot we are judged, the world is judged for water. Sir Rabbi Yoshua says, Rabbi Eliezer, how does this make any sense? Sir Rabbi Eliezer says, no, no, no. I wasn't saying that we start asking for water on Sukkot. That we do at the end of Sukkot. But what I was saying was, is that we recognize, we thank Hashem, we're maskir, the fact that we have an appreciation for water, and we do so, by virtue of taking the Dalad Minim, the four species. So the Me'iri explains as follows and says, what was Rabbi Eliezer thinking? What did Rabbi Eliezer mean when he said that, no, we're not asking for water on Sukkot, we're simply recognizing this, the fact that Hashem gives us water and life is sustained by water. So he says, look, when you go and request something from someone else, If you just come to them out of nowhere, it sort of takes them by surprise, by shock. And who knows what their response will be. But if you first have a conversation with them and you talk about your appreciation for a given thing and then you request that they give you that thing, well, already there's an association. Already there's a preparation. So the request doesn't come out of nowhere. The request is almost expected. And so the Me'iri says, that's what we do on Sukkot. Of course, at the end of Sukkot, we ask Hashem for rain, for water. We don't want it to rain during Sukkot because we want to sit in the Sukkah. But what we do is we are a here. We recognize, we thank Hashem for the gift of water, which is the gift of life. And we do so so that we, our request doesn't come out of nowhere when it comes to actually asking for water. And in our lives, it's the same thing when it comes to conversations that we have with people. If we want something from someone and we just approach them with that request, the probability of us being granted that request is not as high as the probability of us speaking to someone, telling them how much something means to us and how much we appreciate it and them and then making our request. They're much more likely to grant our request, whatever it may be in terms of a relationship or a conversation, if we recognize and we thank them for that which they give, they gave us and how it enhances our existence. And that is what we are requesting from HaKadosh Baruch Hu through the Dalad Minim, according to Rabbi Eliezer, on the Yom Tov of Sukkot. As the Yom Tov of Sukkot is a time in which we express simcha, in which we thank Hashem for everything, let us be zocha, let us merit to also be thankful for the incredible relationships that we have in our lives. And let's make sure that we use this period of time to make those relationships even stronger and to be very careful about how it is that we speak to and request things from each other. Thank you for listening. Have a good Shabbos and a good Yotif.